guys is the screen is visible yes 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 visible okay YouTube also uh, perfectly working. Hello guys, welcome to this uh, C part one. Guys, can uh, can I know like uh, are you aware of uh, pro any programming languages before starting the session? No sir. This is a little bit echoing. NetBeans. Okay. A little bit Python. Okay. Okay. Like. uh how many participants are there because here i can't see the participant list so okay once the participants everybody everyone can can join then i can start the session <laughs> okay voice is, voice is breaking echoing yeah yeah the voice is not audible okay one minute Is now it's fine. Hello. Yes, it is fine now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Fine. Okay, guys. Uh, this is Vishnu Ardhan from Robotic Lab. Uh, in the start, this is the first session. So I want to introduce the methods of this session. Me, Vishnu Ardhan from Department of CSE, and Kir uh, Kirti from uh, ISC Department, and Abhay Surya from Mechanical Department. So we three, uh, we three uh, members will be taking this, uh, taking the mentorship for you guys, and uh, we will explain the C uh, C programming in detail. And first. Uh, we named the session as dive into c so we are learning about c programming so it's like okay c is a uh, name of the language but what is meant by programming programming uh, what is meant by programming can anybody answer this asking computer to do something yeah exactly computer yeah uh, in a technical words can uh, we can say that giving set of instructions like we are saying uh, we are giving instructions to the computer to do uh, to do, uh, to perform like to act according to the what the instructions we are giving suppose i want for example uh, printer first we take a printer printer is a programmed one so if i give the option print so it is like already the, it is programmed so it will only do the uh, only follow the instruction so it it knows we have to, uh, that has to do only printing that is the programming giving a set of instructions to the machine uh, which uh, which we want to uh, which we want a machine to be followed okay then it's like okay programming we know what is a programming then there are different types of uh, programming languages we can code in different languages just similar to our languages english hindi Uh, so many languages we can speak in different languages so computer can also understand different languages so uh, there are so many languages according to wikipedia there are more uh, there are around 900 programming languages but we use uh, only uh, lang uh, we use only some languages like java python c language c++ because these are they are so popular and they uh, they speed and uh, uh, compatible and they are user friendly So this is the way we select the programming languages, and that is why those languages are so popular. So it's like uh, each language. Uh, can I uh, can I ask you one question? Like, what is the difference between all these all the languages? Why there are so many languages? Like, why Java is there? Just compare the C, C plus plus, Java, Python. Why there are different languages? Why can't we use one single language? depending upon the amount we type but differentiated into different different languages sir so. okay can you elaborate 
like uh, the amount of program we write in c++ will be less when we uh, like uh, the program which has to be completed uh, like one page in c++ the same pro the same program will be completed in half a page in python and all okay here like uh, we can do python in half a page you are according to easy but python is uh, slower than c++ so here that is not the case here like each programming language have it in its importance in their specific fields oh, one minute somebody is joining oh. okay each program has its equal importance in their specific field suppose like uh, java java will use in uh, android app development or uh, like server side using servers and c is coming as a base language for uh, all the languages maximum the what are the languages we are knowing that is a base language and python is used in data science uh, data science like artificial intelligence and cyber security and c++ used for graphics and uh, uh, do you know that c++ is a language used to uh, make pubg call of duty all the maximum of all the graphic games so by this we can know that like each language has its equal importance in their fields okay i think you have got what is a programming languages and why there are dif uh, different programming languages now let's move okay you understand what is a programming then what is a coding it's like a simple question like wh what we think is a programming and coding are both are similar but not same if they are same they will with uh, the what is it the members will not give the uh, different names so if they have a different names like the coding is different and programming is different so surely they have a different meanings and we will see what is there as the coding and programming are different but they are interrelated how they are, how the relation is they, like coding is a part of programming as you can see here yeah uh, i think uh, all of you can see the venn diagram here Yes we, yes, we can see. Yeah, okay. Thank you. And programming is a uh, is a superset. Like it is a uh, superset, and in the coding is one of the, one part. And how they are different? Coding is like just we are writing a lines of syntax and it's a language, and just give a readable inputs to the machine. Just uh, comparing to the real world, we just want to learn a new language. So you just like learn the language. That's it. But uh, just start. But here, what is a programming? How it is different? Programming is like a fully development, developing of a pro, total program, like from the ending. It consists of debugging, testing, requirements, document analysis, whole document, and whole set of a project is called a programming. In that coding is one of the part. In coding, we don't test debugging. We don't do all the things. We just like learning language. Here, like uh, we are applying the language to the projects. This is the difference come between the coding and programming. And now, uh, entering to uh, C programming, I think uh, the introduction of programming completes, and now we enter into the C programming. Uh, so bear with the theory. Like first, uh, whatever the topic we want to go, we have to learn some theory. Then we can hop onto the coding part. Guys, is my uh, voice is uh, clear, or I am going some fast? No, no, it is clear. No, it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Now, whatever the uh, language is like C programming, any language when it's created, it has some history. So it's like uh, let's uh, start with the history, then we can move ahead with what is there in it. So C uh, C is created by Dennis Ritchie in 1970. Then it is like used in Unix operating system. Hey, can I uh, can you uh, can anyone say what is the operating system? OS like everybody uses like Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Which controls all? Yeah. It's an interface yeah. between the computer and the, first, the user. Yeah, it's a perfect. Like operating system acts as an interface between the hardware and the user because like user can't directly code all the languages. So it will be a 
friend uh, friendly user like you if you use operating system you uh, like windows windows is one type of uh, user friendly operating system on mac os linux you don't need if you want to use the operating system you don't want to learn the programming already it is programmed and it will be given uh, it will be available to you as user friendly means it is user can easily access so that is the way and at the time unix is one type of operating system so it is used in uh, the creator and used in uh, that type of operating system and now ansi c was finally ansi is like uh, i will explain this later and why it is named as c it's like you can uh, you can uh, just got a doubt like why it is named as c so c language is named because of its every day technology will be upgrading so upgrading technology means like the previous technology will be developed and the new technology will be created so in the same manner c also is one of the developed part so starting a language called bcpl and it is developed into b language so it's like b is again developed and it is successor uh, it is a successor of b language so after b what what is alphabet will come let's see so it is named as c the setting there is no uh, theory like why named there is no uh, what you say this one uh, in-depth definition uh, in-depth uh, what you say in-depth and importance and of why it named as c this is a process why it named as c just it's like after b whatever the letter come it's named as c language now it's like ansi c a n s i c it's like whatever the language is created whatever the uh, or creation is there it has to be standardized and it has to be accessible for everybody and it has to be uniform so that standard institute come into the picture american national standard institute ansi full form so what it does is like uh, ansi c is a standardized form of c89 c89 is a version which is c89 means it's c version of 1989 so Uh, it's like uh, why standardization is required because like uh, what it it has standard standardization make sure that all the things will be in a uniform suppose if some c language has some characters some type of data it should have the same type of data whether i am using or you are using so it, everything will be standardized and testing and it is done by ansi specific syntax and what is the syntax it has to follow and everything and c99 it is upgrade every time uh, the old version cannot be compatible with the new version so it has to upgrade according to the uh, technology so c99 came additional it contains of additional of numerical library some libraries are added don't worry if you don't if you not understanding these things we will just once go into the coding we can get what is mean by arrays what are numerical libraries everything and what is its uh, difference just see the difference here these are the things it's added in c99 keywords and i will say what are the keywords when i am going when i hop onto the coding it's like when i'm using dev c++ and i will uh, let you know how you, uh, how you have to code then i will say what is a keyword and what is its importance in coding okay now it's like we have to go with compiler and interpreter you can ask like why we are learning this much theory before going to programming we just type the program and we can run but without knowing the why we need to learn theory because okay just i will give a chance to you because like this is a interactive workshop so uh, i want you guys to answer why we need to learn this much theory before going to program yes please Okay, it's the basics. That's uh, that's it. Okay, I will say like. What will you? Yeah, yeah. What are we using in coding? The things we will just uh, say about. Okay, just I will give a clear picture. Like, if you know what is the language and how it is created, then if you are doing any project. then you can know which language you have to use and what is it disadvantage sometimes errors will depend if you know a good theory, if you have a good theoretical knowledge then you can easily solve the errors so you can if you are doing any project you can get awareness of what is the language you have to use 
and this is a property so we can use we can uh, use or not we can analyze this is a way why we are uh, learning theory before you know, hop onto the program okay now compiler what is a compiler compiler means like a uh, computer knows a language it's a binary language means it knows only one and zero that's called machine language it does not know our uh, our alphabets a b c d and what uh, any language it knows only one or zero everything is to be converted so what is com uh, so we can't directly talk with the uh, com uh, computer like we can't just say like one zero one zero this is a, in a binary form so it, it will be very and non user friendly it is not at all user friendly so it's like what a compiler do just like a google translator it's like whatever the language you give it translate to the other language so compiler also perform the same task so it uh, it reads whatever the program we given and converts into object code it acts as a mediator or a translator between the user and a uh, 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 computer so computer can easily understand okay this is a what they are conveying to say so they can the computer will also return the re it gives reply then it goes into the compiler and it converts into our language so this is a way you can communicate with the program and hardware using compiler without compiler you can't do so this is the importance of compiler and what a compiler is it's just a uh, diagram it's like source code is converted into object code this is the thing in between compiler will be there and now what is interpreter interpreter is like a reader source code same thing but in its re after reading the source code it converts into the okay it converts into the intermediate code means like it does not it does not directly converts into that uh, uh, object code or the machine code it converts into intermediate code then intermediate code converts into object code this is why it is useful because like if you performing the line by line example python python is an interpreter language like it means like it reads one line by line so then after line reading line by line the line by line code is converted into intermediate code then it's converted into object code so there are two languages interpreting languages and compiling languages c is one example of compiling language python is an example of interpreting language now features of c language okay oh it is a middle level language uh, i guess this is the last part of the uh, theory so let's uh, uh, complete this one and we can uh, quickly hop on to the programming features of c language it is a middle level programming language there are two types of programming languages uh, cat uh, categorized on the level it's like one is high level programming language one is middle level programming language i want to give the difference between what is a high level and middle level uh, sorry high level and low level programming languages high level languages it's like it reduces the effect effort uh, by the user like all uh, there are so many inbuilt functions already defined by the creator and you just want to use like that just like uh, uh, you can use inbuilt functions and you can uh, already define so no need to code all the things so it will be very effortless and you can give a short line it, uh, code will be in a short so effort will be reduced but as low level languages it's like it uh, all the thing all the efforts has to put by the user so it is not user friendly so whatever the code suppose if you want to print something in the com in the code editor or uh, not code if in the terminal in the output so you have to define the thing it's like assembly language means like the first uh, the whole language which is a low level language so we have to put more effort like we have to code everything that is low level language but where does c come C has a features of uh, combining assembly language and having a mem they can access to the memory location and have a pointers, but it has a high level features like uh, you can use inbuilt functions. So comparing to all this, it has a features of low level as well as high level. So it comes into the uh, it comes into the uh, in between low level and high level. That is like a uh, in middle that is called middle level programming language and it is a procedure oriented language so it is a, uh, very important to know that c, c language is a procedure oriented and like c++ is as object oriented like just want to give a brief introduction about what is a procedure oriented and object oriented programming language 
so yeah, you guys are new to c pro uh, programming so it's very important to uh, get uh, know of what is the difference between procedure oriented and language uh, like uh, object oriented procedure oriented is like all the procedure means all the function what is a procedure it's like everything what we code in c language is totally functions it's a function oriented and objects is like object oriented is c++ java it uses objects and classes that's the thing just like procedure means it's all the procedure oriented function oriented programming language so it contain all the functions there are wide variety of built in i, I will uh, show it is in code and like okay it's like we have to pass the data to the uh, program to the c program so how we can do that so but uh, there are integers so many things but data can be classified into c program as basic data types void data type and derived data types and uh, basic data types are again divided into two types integer types and flow types okay Yes, uh, I'll say, uh, just listen what I'm saying. Don't write anything if you're writing. Uh, we will share the PPT afterwards and we will share the notes also so you can refer. Basic data types and integer data types and float data types. Uh, then void data type. Void is like null. That's the thing. Void means null data type. Derived data types like uh, what is a user defined things. It's derived from other data types. Okay, now I come to the topic of integer types. Integer types is like a character is an integer type. Int is an integer type. You can uh, you can get uh, you can think like what he is saying like uh, character is an integer type. Okay, just I want to uh, it is not the type of the type uh, integer does not represent the type of the data type. It represents a value it ranges. You can see here it values ranges from zero to two fifty five. The values it ranges. This is integers, not the type, and it is a uh, it has a me separate memory twelve, uh, which has to be stored. That's the thing. This is integer data type, integer types. In the it is a part of basic data type. Then float. You can easily guess like okay, float means like it value ranges in a float. If you want to have more accuracy, it's like more uh, no more precision, then we use float data type. So if we want a higher decimal value, so we want our result to be more precise, then we use a high value data type. So it uh, as it's a more precise, so it has to store more number of lines. So it's like more number of data. So the data size will be increased. Four byte, eight byte, and ten byte. Like whatever according to your situation, your program, your situation, what you are solving, then you can increase the size of the data by using double, long, all these things, and you can use the keywords also. Uh, I want to explain what is a byte and what this is a fundamental like this is what the um, unit of memory bit and byte bit is like uh, you know that like a computer only understand zero or one whatever the language it may be computer mobile everything whatever the coding is finally it has to convert into binary so this is a just imagine there is a one block it contains only one or zero does it mean? like one byte means it can either store one or zero does that mean only one value can be stored and imagine that this whole box is a one memory one memory like a box is a memory and in that only one can be accommodated or zero can be accommodated so it's like only one value can be done so this is one bit and byte is like okay every time we don't have a, a bit so we can't do a, a size bit so bytes come into the picture so it's like it's eight bits is equal to one byte so eight bits uh, come together and forms a one byte. Suppose if it is two bytes, then what is the number of bits it have? Sixteen. Yeah, perfect. 16 bits. Yeah, sixteen bits. So if it two bits, so it is eight plus eight, total sixteen bits. So it can have sixteen different types of binary digits, like one or zero. This is the way, like. Here also it's like 4 byte means 4 into 8 that is 32 so it can store 32 bits of data so uh, this is the thing and here also it's like 1 byte means like 8, 8 bits of data it can have 8 characters if we want to increase the data type increase we can use unsigned short disorder keywords 
okay now let's understand the code now it's time for understanding the code okay now it's like uh, first first program like uh, here if you want to or uh, if you are writing a program and if your friend want to know what you are writing you share the program but he is not understanding what you are writing so to help the other uh, uh, friends or other programmers we will give comments it's not necessary generally if you give it will be better like it's like uh, double forward slash then you whatever you write it will not be compiled it's just like a comment what you are doing like whatever you are doing okay i am writing this is this is my first program so i will write first program okay that's the thing this is just commenting guys are you get uh, are you guys are getting what i am saying yes yes yes, yes. okay fine and then is like hash include okay this is from here the programming starts it's very listen carefully guys this is very important once you get uh, have a strong foundation then you can excel in the one programming language being this is a first programming language i can understand it is difficult to understand but try to concentrate uh, uh, uh don't be sleepy because like now only the theory got ended so let's move ahead hash include hash uh, hash include is just like a pre processor uh, in coding nothing is like a new thing we are using uh, only english keywords or oh, oh, are we are using only english words so oh, everything will be easily understand so well, don't worry if you don't understand you can ask the doubts at any time or you can put in a chat box all the submenters are available you to solve your doubts okay now is like hash include hash include is a pre processor if you are going to process something there's a need in c programming the creator the uh, Dennis Richard have include like why uh, we need uh, more efforts to the pro uh, programmer. So let's include. We have already coded something. So we will give the to the members. They can just uh, give uh, use by using hash include. Just like we are importing something which is already defined. So that is like preprocessor. We adding some other file which is already coded to reduce our effort in our programming. So uh, we don't want to uh, write all the things how the uh, print works uh, guys if you don't know how it is what is a print function don't worry i will say in, uh, in soon how the print works what is the function we don't want to write all the code so this is why the preprocessor comes into picture okay we define this is like import thing okay then what i have to include step one like uh, I yeah any doubt like this has if you have stored our programming, if you have stored our code in uh, like uh, MS Word to commit uh, to to take that uh, program from MS Word to the uh, no 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 uh, not like that not like that. It's like it is already defined in C library. Like it is already defined by the Dennis Ritchie like all the all the developers in C language. So whenever they're creating, so it's like it's like standard input and output files. Like it's like uh, whatever the files we are develop not not from our system, not from any internet. It is like already developed by the C language uh, creators only. So okay, sir. Okay. Does uh, that does that those are the files we are using uh, using hash include. Okay. It's like we are inputting what is the inbuilt header files. Like inbuilt, you are using header files. Stdio.h. .h signifies that it is a header file. Header files like uh, it is a, a library. It contain all the functions. It's like all the what is it I have to do in it, the full form. It's like if I say the full form, you can easily get what does it do. Nothing is uh, a new in the language. It's like oh, everything is English. So. Uh, it's like I will say standard, it's like full form is like standard, HD means standard, STD means standard, I means input output dot header file. Now uh, what does uh, what you're guessing like what does it do? Standard and standard input and output. Just like whatever you think, just uh, Say it in the uh, say because like you hear no no teachers are there, so no problem. You can say whatever you want. It may be wrong or right. I 
it it may generally include the code that are using the output and input okay some part is correct like uh, good uh, very good like what it will do like standard input and output okay it's like standard okay standard okay keep uh, keep it side and input and output okay here we have input and output so it is a library dealing with input and output function so it should have input and output function so we can use in our programming so does it it has input and output function so we can use those functions in our programming language okay there are done a uh, great job like uh, we don't want to use all the uh, code all uh, code all the things so they have already given in a just one line of statement is by uh, by this so just i want to give you a brief introduction on this hash in okay hash include hash include is a preprocessor as i said and hash include will uh, while if i click on the compile button it's like compile i want to translate that so what it does it replaces the whole code the whole code what you what you are uh, seeing uh, what you are uh, typing in before compilation so it, it uh, as a compiler what it does it compiles uh, it translates the whole language into machine language does a compiler does it translates the thing which can understand uh, what is a language it's a machine language it can understand by the machine the computer so hash include is like there just one line it's like matters a lot it does so much function like it includes a whole code before compilation so then it expands the code so it's like here is like this is a source code source code means like what is a code you are typing like whatever the code you are typing that is called a source code then it when the, it combines with a preprocessor when it has to this hash include then it the code the two codes will combine and give a expanded code that that one, just imagine like hash include contain code a and your code is like code b so once the if you run those two codes will connect together and form a big code like expanded source code then it's com uh, it's a compiler then compiler come into picture and converts into a machine code okay guys any doubts no it's fine so the loop the itself code sir huh which one like hash include it will combine with all the uh, code we have done uh, it will combine and it will expand the source code okay yeah it's like it, we are importing other code which is defined in c language so uh, we are we suppose we are write written a code but we are using the function like whatever the type you are using like after standard in after hash include we use the header file like one thing is like common one standard input and output so here like we are using input and output function which are defined in which are already there present in the uh, uh, stdmo.header file so we are including so we are connecting our code our uh, so to the uh, that code in standard uh, input and output header file so once it got connected so the uh, whatever the function we declare it will run properly so the source code the uh, the uh, what is it the code which you are importing which you are including contains how it has to run so it it already defines like this all the function so that is like that is a importance why we are using hash include okay have you got it yes yes so, yes sir yeah you have any uh, any doubts you can free to ask no problem Okay then. Ah, uh, basically, basically, hashtag include it. Uh, it uh, generates the code which are actually uh, predefined in that uh, language system. Yeah. Is it so? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So the actual code that is generated at the time of compilation of hashtag include is it compiled again? 
Yeah, it will be compiled, compiled again. Like pre-processor here, see here in, in the diagram, in the, uh, this figure. Like source code, whatever you are writing, one minute, I go back, you can see. This is a source code. Whatever you type after hash include, is not, it is not including the, the thing. Then once a pre-processor come into the, comes compiled, then it's like expand, it, it converts into expanded code. Like that some code will be added to your program, whatever you type. It, re, it is totally replaced by that one line of code, hash include and whatever the library you are typing. So it will become a big code, then, it, then afterwards it goes for compilation. It's done at a time of compiling only, No, uh, it, it, it does not do double compilation. First you will go pre-processor and adds, then it go for compilation. You got it? Uh, can you give an example? Example, one minute, like, uh, uh, I think I have to in go, the to, code, in go to dev C++. So Hello. One minute. Means according to the computer, it will change the language. Yeah, but let's see here, like, uh, uh, guys, if you don't understand this program, no problem. Uh, we, uh, I will explain this one. Hash include. This is the one uh, we are including. Now. Suppose uh, one minute. Just before going to hash include, just I want to include a function like. You know uh, any basics about C programming? No sir. Okay, no problem. No, just, Okay, just like we are, uh, for example, you ask for example, so just like, uh, just it takes the hello. Don't bother about it, only see here print, print function. It means like it has to print something. But if I run this program, it will show some error. Because like print, we don't know how the print will be there, how the print function, we don't know how to contact with the hardware to print something and give whatever we type. We have to, suppose just like I want to give, I, I want to say the person print hello. So they will say hello. So that is a function, that is the same thing I want to do with the system. I will say hello, the same thing hello will be given as output. That is the thing the print will do. It prints the same thing what we, what we want to, uh, what we are defined here. So here we don't need to print or the, we don't need to define, we don't need to code how the print function works. That is print is like output. So we can we can just include here the, we can just include stdio.h does the thing. And he uh, this function will have how the print uh, code of print function. So no need to define how the print function works. So it will automatically takes from here while compilation, it attaches to the our code. One way. This code. That's the thing. No need. This is a way. Uh, why the uh, header files are very important, and this is a function uh, hash include will do. We don't need to define everything, so it will be automatic. It's already there in hash include, like uh, already there in stdio.h. So to import that, we are using include function. We are including that in our file. That's the meaning. Got it? Yes. Yeah, fine. Now it's like, and now it's going to. Yeah. yeah. In this uh, studio IOH or uh, source code, which one will execute first? Generally, everything will be executed. Uh, generally, it goes line by line. First, it has to uh, include. So if you include means like it, it reads about you are including something. So it, then it goes for, okay, next thing after uh, after include, you can see that, okay, stdmo.h means like after include, then it searches for whatever the library, what is the header file you are including. It's like here I'm including a standard input and output library. So it first uh, goes with a hash include, then it searches for the header file. Once it find a header file, then it in uh, it compiles whatever it want to include then it includes in our code it goes line by line that's the thing okay 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 in in main it's like uh, uh, 
already set up whatever we whatever we write whatever we do in the C programming is a procedure. It's a functions means like procedures means functions. Here uh, main like uh, main is like uh, just uh, I think everybody knows uh, mathematics like if you want to use f of x f of x is a one of the function so it's like uh, I'm not going too much deep here it's like just it means like if you uh, parenthesis it, this is called parenthesis so it means like it is main is a name of the function so here yes, function is like it do something function means is it it do some task everything is like whatever the instruction we are giving it is like a way of functions in the c program so whatever whatever the code we do it we have to define in a function suppose we do uh, suppose like uh, we make if we want to make a robot we want to make a robot it has to walk walk is a function if you want to uh, robot to dance it is a function dance is a function so everything we have to go with a uh, function it's like everything in a C language is a function. Now you can understand why C language is called a procedure oriented programming language. Is everything will be in a function form. So it's like now okay I understood it is a function form. Then how we have to write its syntax. What is the syntax of the function? So because like as a uh, okay C is pro it is uniform to everybody. So at the time of standardization like a a a and S, a and S, right? just like that is a institute which uh, standardize everything and how the syntax have to write and because like you are you are doing the same syntax and your friend also do uh, write in the same syntax so there's no difference so it will be in uniform suppose if standardization not happens then you you do in one form your friend will do in one form you can't understand code so that's the thing and they, uh, they are given a proper syntax. Syntax means a way of writing. Syntax means a way of writing the function. So first thing is like returning type. So returning type, I would say like why the returning type, uh, uh, what is the returning type? Just see like what happens uh, here. Okay, it's like after return type here, after return type you give the name of the function similar to here similar to here this is a return type integer this is a keyword keyword like uh, uh, keyword is a special function which defines or uh, which is a special character which is uh, which is a special word does a which gives some meaning like in main it is like integer return is an integer like i will say what is a return one uh, wait for a while if you don't understand no problem if you understand it's a uh, good Okay, it's like uh, main main is like a name of the function. That's the thing. Once after return state, return uh, return type, that's a keyword. It may be integer. It's a data type. What we are declaring. It is a in, uh, integer or void or anything. Like it's a return type. What it has to return after end of the program. I will uh, once I uh, I will show after this. I will show in the code. And then we come to parameters. Parameters like whatever the function takes, like f of uh, x means like x is a parameter. Does it? Uh, now don't worry about the parameters. Uh, you can uh, you can easily understand what is a parameters uh, in upcoming sessions. Like parameter, just now you can understand like the function what it has to carry, like whatever the function it has to define. Like if I take an f of x is a function is equal to x squared, just a small function f of x is equal to x squared. Then x is a parameter f is a function does it f is a function in x f is a function uh, f is a function in x then it's like it has x is a parameter it contains x square does it this is called a parameter so whatever we have defined for this the function will occur occur okay are you getting guys Yes. Yeah. What is x squared? X squared is a function like whatever afterwards like I will show. This is a thing. What we are after like we define a function and I want to know what it has to do. Okay. Okay. One minute I have to erase. I have scribbled a lot. It's like after defining a function like we have to just uh, 
like a set of statements like okay this function okay we named a function suppose uh, for clear clarity it's like whatever you are learning try to uh, relate with your real world because like all the things will be uh, uh, because like programming is like everything in a real world like technology is increasing maximum everything you are using technology like mobile atm machine like washing machine refrigerator everything will be maximum programmed it's like just i want to give an example of a robot uh, if i want robot to walk i will give a written written type written type is like okay robot uh, is integer just uh, just i am giving an integer uh, i will uh, once after the code i will explain what why a written type will come into the picture what is its importance just now in just keep in a, uh, as per now just uh, i am giving its int that's it it int means integer that's it is it not a new language we are just shortcutting everything we don't want to type that much long integer so we can type int so now i'll go for name of the function it's like okay our name of the function is like walk and just if we don't want to use any parameters then we can close that thing just like uh, what we are doing here int i want to make it's a walk then uh, uh, once it's walking uh, we named the function okay we named the function we uh, it's like we declared the function that's the thing we declare the function and we want to define the function declaration is different from define declaration is like we are just naming the things we don't know what it has to do we have to define that so how it has to work how many steps it has to take because like robot doesn't know whatever we type whatever the machine does then it has to perform that so first thing you have to uh, you have to go three steps ahead i will write a set of statement like robot you move three steps ahead and if i click the function to run then it moves to uh, uh, three steps ahead does it and return if after the all statements we will type return we will type return in uh, return zero or return one whatever you want uh, you can type it is an integer you have to give return type so it 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 makes that if all the uh, as somebody also doubt like do all the lines will be executed line by line yeah now it's come into the picture like it it uh, total lines will be executed line by line then if every function if everything runs then it comes for the return statement if every statement runs correctly then the return statement will come so then it return zero if it it make sure that the program what you return is going in a proper direction or not suppose if robot gone three steps in the program the function executed correctly after execution it return we are giving a return statement return zero return zero signifies that your program is completed if it is returning something else then means that it is going something wrong okay your program is not returning something what you define means like your program is going in a wrong way check your program and recorrect it if you got a correct return return i want to return what you are you want to return like normally one zero will be taken as a return thing whatever you want you can give your integer then you can return that one if if everything runs perfectly you will finally say like uh, if you, in the compiler return with exit code a number the number which you have defined if your number is not matching with that it means that your program gone something wrong does it okay now is like how the parameters come into picture i will give different functions like uh, i want to make a robot move in all directions like left right uh, all the direction left right uh, like left right top and bottom like uh, sorry uh, forward and backward not top and bottom okay uh, it's like i will give parameters like uh, uh, just like i will give front yeah front f means front and these are the parameters like suppose then i include if i include that parameter here then it goes for the set of statements will run then if i give a parameter an another thing then other set of statements do so if we can tune we can monitor or we can uh, change the uh, what is the function how it has to function by using the parameters does the parameter importance come into the picture we don't need to do all the different functions we can in using the parameter 
we can do whatever we want in same function in a different time it will be very easy if you uh, try to uh, uh, watch is it match the same thing try to include the uh, problem with the real life one so we can easily get whatever it may be the new thing we can easily get into the mind it, have you got it what is the parameters coming to the picture and what is the function like just function is like i want whatever you want to name that's the thing it's it's up to you like you want to give a b c d or walk you want to give robot it's just like you are giving a name to the function you to identify are you getting guys uh, i have a doubt yeah sure ask so we usually use return to get the output right uh return is like get an output also but here it, yeah we can do but return also does like sometimes we use does like sometimes one minute can you see hello is my voice is clear Yes. 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 Yeah, it's like return is like uh, you can use for printing, but it's like uh, in C language maximum use a void statement to void uh, void or int statement to know it's like if you use uh, void, you don't return anything. It's like return void means null, and return uh, is like you are checking the program. We can use it for print also, but it's like whatever the return you give C programming, it shows that it exited with this code. But use a return uh, what we have given in a return statement. <laughs> So what happens if we use print instead? No like print we can print use. Print. No print we can use. Print we can use. I will show in the code. I will show in the code. Okay. Okay. It's like uh, I think you have uh, aware of uh, other programming languages. Ah oh, yes. Uh, Python a little bit. Yeah, Python here it's a, it's a different. It's like we use return for the function. So here it's quite different here. Okay. We can use the same thing. Yeah, but it's quite different so i uh, show i will show in the program hello sir hmm. hello sir what do you mean by void sir what Vo is this void void is like a null it does not void means like null that's it nothing like if i give a return type as void like it does not return anything you don't need to specify a return statement that's it we can just write a program and leave it that's it Excuse me, sir. Oh. Hello. Yeah. Sir, uh, 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 return statement is like uh, after executing, like you said, no, sir. Uh, uh, if we give the function to a robot to uh, walk three steps, yeah. and after three steps, it will again return to the code or uh, for uh, uh, executing further functions. Is it like that? No, no, no. It's like just uh, we are we. That I'm saying you one of the function like return is like after uh, just like ending. Just I want to give that the program is ended. Just like yes, uh, to signify that we can use that one. It is one of the type. Or if you want to return anything like after program completes after completion of whole function, like if I want okay if I want to say that like a robot is walking, after walking three steps it it has to say like okay robot reached a destination. So we can after the ending of the function, it has to give something. It has to return what else it has to be returning. That the return type signifies. Okay, sir. It does not return to the same function. Yes, sir. Re returning is like after the function, after completing function, what I have to do. Does it? Okay, sir. And it is somewhat similar to these other programming languages like Python also. Do you know that? Uh, Python is actually coded in C language. Well, I did not know that. Okay, no problem. Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Always, always we should write a return zero only, or we can write something value or so. One, two, three. We can write. We can write. No problem. Sometimes if you don't write return also, no, not an issue. 
okay then now, uh, if yes. someone what's the difference between that uh, zero one return zero one yeah i'll show one minute it's like once after this one like i will show uh, what is the return statement after saying the inbuilt function i will just go into the code editor they will see then i will show how it has what happens if you give other than zero and what happens if you don't give return statement and what all the things you will get clarity when i'm coding okay just just i want to print i want to just complete this one only one line then we can uh, you can easily understand there if you if you have uh, if you still have a doubt you can ask there okay okay have you got it okay then i will say that uh, guys are you uh, are you able to hear me Mm, yes, we can. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for the response. Like printf is like because I have already said like there are so many functions inbuilt function. So printf is like one of the function. Printf is one of the function. So it says like let's uh, printf is like whatever we are typing like just we are signifying like uh, uh, suppose uh, there is another person I want to say it, whatever I have said say it, repeat the same. Okay. Is like a uh, print. printf uh, does the same function we are saying the computer whatever we are typing inside a print function print the same thing as output that is a simple function which is defined in stdio like it's like just printing the things it's like printing. real uh, normal english it's whatever we are typing it has to print there and it has a proper syntax like you have to whatever you have to print it should be in inverted commas and it should end at semicolon this is the syntax okay then after it's like return zero once after function return zero return the zero function now i will go into the code editor you can easily understand what happening here yes i will uh, just show how to use a devc now so just like one if you want if you are new to devc like just uh, you have to click control new control n or you can go ahead or file or new anything will be uh, fine okay so it's fine okay then like uh, guys uh, don't go just see what i am coding then uh, you can have a recorded session in a youtube or here also so you can uh, one minute one minute i want to just record yeah recording it's recorded session only so whatever you uh, he, you can just listen what i'm saying and understand then once you get a, what is the concept then you can if you have any doubts if you want to know how to save a file how to run the file you can see the video and you can know but the concept is important here so just i want uh, hash include one minute i scroll little zoom little bit okay first thing like i want to okay is hash include std i would not h okay we included a, a, a standard input and header file this is a function i want to use printf is a function which is already defined in stdio.h so it is already defined there so i want to include that file, that uh, like uh, that header file stdio.h so now i want to a function i want to define a function how to define a function can anybody say how to define uh, uh, like how to declare sorry how to declare a function starting function name and then name function name so uh, return name return name yeah return type i want to know python we use def keyword yeah def keyword it's like uh, don't inc don't include a python because like yeah, compiling uh, two language will be like quite confusing if you try to do like you will always uh, think like okay python is like you can uh, sometimes you can type the python code in between okay okay here is like in return type i want to just type int then i will go with the void how uh, if i change the int what will happen okay int oh main main is a function name like one thing i, I forgot to say main is a function which is uh, whatever the function you can write it is a one function it has to be there main is already defined by c whatever the function you include suppose i'm um, after uh, okay, main uh, just i want to include like int walk you can you can do it you can do it 
but here you have whatever you write main function should be there it is a condition given by the creators of c program it is it is a way the c program has been developed you have to the main function has to be there you can't change the main function okay now just like i'm using printf printf is a inbuilt function inbuilt means it's already built in it's already come it already uh, defined in it already present in c program you don't want to code you don't want to say that uh, uh, what you said is one computer this is a way you have this is a process you have to follow how to print statement you just this is already done by the c program uh, creators so you just want to include this one so you can directly use like print statement and you this is a parameter what you are this is parameter like whatever this is a function this is a function in build function this is a parameter means like parameter what i want to print parameters like why he print of is like parameter takes a parameter suppose i want hi welcome to diabetes okay and this is the thing okay this is the whatever i type it will be printed in output i will show how it will be and after to signify that i, I completed the inbuilt function you have to give that semicolon one minute i will zoom it so this is moderate a little bit okay here it's like uh, it's like whatever you are typing whatever you are uh, doing uh, it's like whatever you are typing inside a print function is a inbuilt function you have to close that with bit uh, semicolon it is an inbuilt one so you have to do that then i have to give then okay i want to end here and i want to return zero it's normal everybody does everybody does this is the thing now i want to just like i want to save the file before like uh, when you are you compiling you have to save a file i think everybody knows how to save file that is control yes control s like i want to just like uh, okay uh what would i oops dive dot c okay it's like dot c is extension whatever after file you you have to give dot c whatever the file you can give but while uh, while saving save as uh, don't forget to include dot c because uh, it signifies that your file is a c programming file so the compiler will understand okay uh, uh he's uh, or the uh, or the user is giving the c uh, c programming file so i have to get ready for the c programming compiler i have to get ready c programming com compiler one i click on save whatever the location you can save is your wish i'm uh, saving on the desktop so save you can see that dive.c is there and here you can go execute and first thing you have to compile and run like you can compile like it's just compile but it will not run the thing it just uh, it just translate it, it just translate but it will not show the output the setting is a compile then you can run but if you want to, to compile that and it want to show the run the program and show the output to you then you have to click on compile and run wait it's run it processing and you can see the file it open and it, the output file says that hi welcome to dive into c so it is it is a whatever i given it is the output coming from the uh, side of what you said computer okay guys are you getting yes. yeah 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 okay and yeah yeah thank you for the response uh okay then you can see here the uh, some other details are given to, like process exited after like it what uh, what uh, how much time it takes because computers are really fast so it can complete in 0.4 something seconds like approximately 0.45 seconds then here observe here return with with return value 0 so here you have given return 0 so it is returning with value 0 this is the thing suppose i just want to close here i just want to type return 1 one thing I want I want to just show that what will happen if I run the program. It shows that hi welcome, but it returns zero only. 
because like if you just like common mistake everybody does like if you are using online compilers or anything if you run the program it shows the previous one only so if you are running that you want to compile the program it is so every time you have to compile so that uh, this setting compile and run or you can use compile then you can run so i want to just like compile and run the program so it is like okay hi welcome to dive into c and uh, this is a okay and return with value 1 it signifies that okay your process is completed and it returned the value 1 okay now okay now i want to give a void statement now uh, somebody also said that what the what is void void means null that's it that's the thing it's a void means it's a null that's it uh, don't go into the deep just remember like void means it's a null okay now i want to uh, come sir yeah sir then what is uh, main and void main are uh, similar sir void just like we are one minute if you if i run the program you will see what is the difference okay it showed like okay it's return value is 25 but here we return is 1 so here okay let's check and see the what is the log here like it's giving a warning it's what it's saying uh, here i'm showing that how to read the errors suppose if you make some error make some mistake in the program and i'm just uh, uh, i'm letting you know how to solve the errors print like uh, it's, it's showing the return with a value in the function returning void so it's like we have it's saying that okay you have de defined a void function but you give a return statement generally void does not return anything so this is giving a warning don't give return statement when you are vo using void so no need so just i'm you closing it now again i will go here again i compile and run now it's perfect it's it's a no value about the return thing uh, it it used by the system no problem and now you can see here you have no errors no warnings but this is a way you have to see the uh, errors log and you can uh, solve the things you have to debug the setting you have to uh, remove the errors guess any doubts so in case of we use the in instead of void man then we have to type return zero sir okay uh, okay uh, i will just you this is a shortcut is there for compile it's like you can just type f11 so i just want f11 so it's like okay it printed but return value is zero it means there is some if you don't define a return thing uh, in uh, if you define int and if you don't define return value it does not does not matter it will automatically taste something like return zero and suppose if i run again it's like return zero is taken as a default thing so it's not it not show any error it's like it's it is in uh what you say optional one you can give a return statement but if you are using void you don't want to you uh, it will show warning if you give return because like uh, we are saying the function like we don't give any return value so directly go ahead in your way whatever you want to define whatever you want to return you can you can return but here but if you give return statement in void it shows some warning hey you have given a return statement in a void you have given a return statement in a void so it's like check check once again and remove it and run again we will show zero errors and zero warnings your, your program will be perfect and clear okay so uh, how warning going to program sir how about these warnings like uh, you gave void function and uh, you have written return zero and uh, it has been shown and and the warning has been shown sir and how does this warning going to affect the program sir generally it will uh, decrease the, uh, generally this shows the compilation when you are real pro, uh, doing projects it will affect your work. it makes the program to stop in the middle okay sir Okay, guys, if you, uh, I think we have completed more than one hour, it's like one hour, 10 minutes, like one hour. So, guys, take a 10 minutes break, we'll be back. If you have any doubts, you can ask. I have a doubt. Okay, yeah. one by one. So, in int main, you're defining the whole function to be an integer, right? 
or no it's like it's just like int main is like i want to return after execution of thing it is a return type it is a keyword it's specialized thing a specialized word it's like it, it says that whatever keyword function is executed then uh, the return keyword this is a return keyword whatever after completing of the function it has to return something this is after return you have to type something this zero here like i will type uh, 120 or 220 this means like it is an integer it has to return this one so this is the way the int uh, int will convey to one int will convey to this one the voice is not audible now it's audible it got deleted for a while okay now i think it's it's fine now Krishna, you have muted your mic. I, mean, I don't know how it got muted. I haven't gone to that one. Okay, I think now it's fine. No. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like uh, uh, integer, like integer defines what you have to return. After give, defining the function, after giving the function what it has to do, integer says in the return keyword it is like it is a data type or what you are giving here after return 220 is a one of the integer okay this is a thing it signifies suppose like uh, integer and after returning it has to return this one this is an integer we are defining the data type of this keyword here we are declaring oh. this here. okay if i run here let's see yeah. what happens I thought it was something else. Oh, no. Okay. See here. Return value 220. Yeah, fine. I thought you were defining it for the whole function, but then you're printing a string. I was like, how is that possible? No, no, no. No. no, 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 no. 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 Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fine. Okay. Thank yeah, you. it's also over similar to the return statements in other languages. And so Python, somebody asked here. We can do whatever you want to return, but here it's like, this is a bit. Okay, guys. Take okay. at 10. Ah, uh, yeah. And Oh, I have a question. Like in the Java, there are uh, string data types and integer. Integer type are used for storing numerical values. Yeah. So, so how is is int a string data type or a numerical data type which one, is used to store numeric? One thing I want to uh, give a clarity: string is a not a data type in C. Okay. Okay. Character, uh, integer, characters, float. Mainly these are the data types. Inti string is not, not a data type. It is like it. Uh, uh, I, have, I have said like C89. C89 is a version. So then it taken modification and it created C++. Then on was like, then Java came. Then on was the string is considered as a data type in, the, in that languages, C++ and Java. But now it, string is a not a data type in C language. Okay, but int is a numerical data type, or it can be used to store uh, this uh, uh, that hi welcome to into dicey. That it can also be stored in int, or only numerical values can be stored only in numerical. INT. Only numerical, only integers. Then why is int declared? Int is like not. That not is for the return function. That is the same thing I asked. Yeah, it's this for the is return like, function only. So in the return, if you put a float, you will get an error. It's like one minute here we are this is don't see here this is a return type it is not included in the function it is not uh, matters how the function is like it's a return type this integer signifies that here what is the data we are giving 220 is an integer okay. one is an integer that, that is that that is it signifying yeah. its data type return data type not a printer all the things okay 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 yes okay. take a 10 minutes okay. Yeah. Ten minutes. Yeah, ten minutes break, and we will meet at eleven thirty. So, which is more prescribed, sir? Int main or void main? Like, uh, which is uh, which are more prescribed? Generally, if you want, if you are doing a long program or anything, it's better to use int main because, like, you know whether the program runs or not, and you, you can use the like, return statement. Uh, return statements will be very helpful. Okay, sir. And written, yeah, written statements also use that uh, we can use in normal languages, but here it's one advantage. I'm saying this, we can check the program. It's a one of the advantage of written program. Written keyword, that's it. Okay. Guys, we will meet at 11.30. Have a break. Uh, 
int is uh, just like uh, the defined function we have in python it just defines the pro uh, the code that we write in that particular uh, set or uh, area i mean uh, i'm not getting can you elaborate it uh, in the sense uh, in python we have this defined function right it can be yeah. a defined main yeah uh, it's just the same way yeah he's asking if it's predefined yeah it's a predefined but not a function in in python you can have int of anything if suppose if uh, if i type int of uh, 2.3 it will converts into integer in python is correct yes yeah yeah but here it is not a function it is a keyword just it is special keyword to just signify that we are uh, it's returning something it's a just data type that's it here it's not if i queue this it does it is not a function it is a just a keyword does it it is a different from the python integer it is a function and it is a keyword does it it is a word does it okay so it's independent of whatever uh, string or uh, we enter like yeah it's only it's only matters about it only sees about this part here it does not okay. it does not matter like whatever you want to give nothing suppose i want to give hello no problem it return one whatever it does not affects anything if i if i not give also it takes a default value of zero does it yeah in the return value if you put a float then you will get an error right yes okay oops sorry 0.1 okay zero 1.1 but this is float right but you are you are refining the one minute i will say, I will say just like one minute, one minute why it's not to Okay, something is wrong. I I can't type here. Okay. Okay. Here, uh, which language do you know? Uh, apart from uh, C. I know Python, so okay. that's, that's why I'm telling like. Yeah, well and good. Like, uh, if you do int, if you do int one, here what it will give? One point one means if you type in Python, it converts into integer. Perfect. Yeah. Here also, that's the same thing. It round off the value and gives like in the first thing. It's not round offing. It just convert in. It just eliminate this decimal part and give this as a thing. It's everything is common like a float integer. It's whatever it's there in Python. It's similar, not much. It's like not the same. Whatever is just like if I give in Python like a, a print int of 2.32. It prints 2. So here also same thing. If I give us like 2 here and just see what else. Just return value two. Okay, It's similar because like C and Python also coded in C language only. Okay, thank you. Okay. Boy, yeah, can I can I ask you one thing, or I should ask after eleven thirty? Yeah, you can ask. uh it it we, we use return like we write five sub codes uh, like print type print type print type five times and yeah. we use different return values in all five like 1 2 3 4 5 so is the return value when we when we run the code if we don't see a type of return value then it it uh, we assume that we have we have uh, we have executed that that wrong so return value helps in that only yeah it's it's one of the function it's just like uh, uh we can uh, uh, just uh, in one simple sentence i will say it just like whatever you typed whatever you typed in the function and final thing after the function what it has to do does the return statement will convey if as you said like uh, i have given the five words but like okay uh, four words and i just run here whatever return 2.1 okay one minute i have to return 2 see here it prints uh it's like hello this is a one thing this is h this is h h one minute i will give a space here so you can easily see the what is the difference okay see here and return to just it will say that we were program after running the final program you what it will do 
that's the thing to check, to verify the program it run or not it is one of the use of the using return statement that's why use in uh, consider in using int main than void main it is it uh, it, uh, it is helpful in this this is a one of the uh, advantages of your return statement you can have the, you can see this like like we like we have written written all support and uh, we have written different uh, programming in it like uh, like it does not show one return like we can we can uh, easily verify that uh, it has not uh, shown that return value then it will be a problem there only yeah it's like if it generally it's like i have given this many statements like hello h e h h l it means like first it has to read this one then like same thing it has to go go yes. and like finally it's like uh, it may be compilation or interpretation it has to go line by line only so yes, first yes. once it got compiled then it has to print return to something is happen in the middle something this statement haven't run in the middle mm -hmm. or this statement so it will exit here only it will goes in a different part so it will not come come into here so you will get a different yes. return value then then we can easily identify that there, there is a problem in there only yeah um yeah i have a doubt here um for printing all these functions you should always have the this kind of indentation is it or uh, you yeah, can it's, uh, like, it's already defined in uh, syntax like uh, if you are using inbuilt functions all the things you have to uh, show that your 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 function is ended by semicolon it's okay it's if you if i do this you can see the error see here okay okay huh. expected before printf this before printf it is expecting something so if i give this one it will run perfectly and it's e even for the print function also it should be in that indentation only it can't go with the indentation of int like uh, yeah, yeah like you, you can't yeah it, it doesn't it will run. run it will not run it will it run, will run. yeah it will run. run it is not like python i think you know python i thought uh, yeah I thought because in yeah in Python it's a bit different. Python indentations matters a lot. Here this it's yeah. Not. If yeah. you here also, no problem. It will run. Okay, okay, fine. Okay. So even in the loop statements also indentation doesn't matter over here or there it, in 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 loops it matters. Indentation also doesn't line. matter. In loops. Yeah. In control flow, like if else then that uh, indentation will be no, required, right? No, nothing, nothing. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Sir? Yeah, one minute. Yes. Sir, what all things uh, will be there for test? Uh, test we will say because like we have to fix like uh, it may be in coding or MCQs or it may be combination of coding and co uh, MCQs. So we will give uh, specific we will give sufficient amount of time uh, for you guys to prepare. Don't worry. So so the so the questions will be asked from this PPT only. No. Means all the All the conceptual questions will be there for PPT only. If we refer to the PPT, it's, it's okay and practice coding. That's yeah, it will uh, maximum. It will be enough. But I think PPT I have uh, haven't included all the definitions. It's like uh, I have just like given the headings and I explain in uh, what I want to say. Okay. So we uh, we will share the PPT and we will share the notes also. You can is refer there. But we want some time to make the notes. Is yeah. the question will also be asked. Yeah. Okay. Theory, Can you repeat? Theory, theory question will also be asked. Ah, uh, maybe or may not be. I'm not sure because like we have to. Ah, uh, we haven't uh, still focused on how to give a questions in the test. Okay. Okay. Five minutes, guys. I will be back.
ये लाओगे किसान हेलो या हेलो हेलो वॉइस इज नॉट क्लियर आई जस्ट चेकिंग यू वेर ऑडिबल ओके ओके
Does everybody came back? Yes, you're audible. Yes. Okay, fifty numbers. One minute, I'm sharing screen. Vishnu's one and Abhay's number L. So we three will be taking this whole workshop. So if you have any any concepts, you can text this up to Does the screen is visible? Yes, it is visible now. You okay. Can I start a meeting? Uh, like, can I start a session? Is everybody come from the break? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now we uh, just go uh, uh, because we have learned only how, uh, about the printer. Let's go ahead and see like. Uh, uh, there's uh, we go uh, somewhat deep into the programming now it's like normal thing hash include now we are dealing with only input and output files so it's like now it's like uh, in main is a function okay it's like now okay printf is completed now I want okay whatever I want to print I will say but every time I can't say uh, the computer uh, to print this print this so every time yeah, I have to change that. So what I will do, like uh, uh, there's a function to scan. What does scan represent? Can I have anybody say like what it, what does term scan represent? Is it for the output purpose? Um, it is for the input purpose. Yeah, input. Input purpose. Yeah, it's like if you're using, uh, if you're, the terms like print means, uh, just like printer have like scan, uh, scanning and printing. Printing means it gives output. Scanning means it takes the input and it prints the what is a scan and it prints the same thing. So here to say, apply the same thing. Like I want to just use scan of here. Okay. Okay. Before going to scan if I just want to uh, say one thing. Uh, suppose I want to say about a variable. Uh, just like I want to and I don't want to define or I don't want to write inside a print function. I want I want to store a, a value in a variable. What I have to do? So I just like uh, uh, for declaring the variable is like uh, imagine a box of memory. It has some uh, huge. Uh, it has some uh, specific memory. The uh, the type of the box can be represented like type of the memory. If, uh, the size of the memory will depends on whatever the data type. I can use integer, int, character, char. So you can just see by using compiler. If suppose if I don't write anything it takes as something so if I write char it a keywords are converted into green color so here you can just check, uh, check whether you're typing correctly or wrong so int char float okay these are the data types these are the types of variables like we want to give the uh, program we have to say the computer okay this, uh, this is to be the memory it has to allocate so if we already defined the if you already define okay i am making a box it has to be only accommodated with only the integer values so i will take integer this is a keyword but i want to use i want to name it so how can i give a name to it uh, to give a name uh, so i want to just give a name variable or any variable just like a a is a variable so it's like whatever the name we can do. It's like we, we can say it as identify. The new term is like uh, the new term identify. It's like it's a very it, it's a very uh, common word identify. It's like identify means identify. Identifying somebody. Identifying somebody. Suppose my name is uh, Vishnu. 
how somebody uh, somebody will identify my uh, me like they uh, they identify me as vishnu so here also we, this is a variable we don't know integer is like a common class okay integer is like a normal uh, it's a like common thing like all the integers but integer it is a, i want to give a name i want to uh, identify that integer by specific name so in that the a i will define so a will be like a is equal to uh means like uh, now we are initializing a now i want to give a value so okay we have given we have given a name but what is the value it has to store so i will give a value 5 a is equal to 5 so it means like uh, a, 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 a create a memory which uh, we have to name uh, we have to identify where uh, what is the name of that is like a so give some space to 5 okay 5 now we accommodated 5 in that place so now i want to uh, print that one so how to print printf okay normally how you can write okay you can just write a okay uh, return zero now see what happens if i click run it run the program but it printed a as per the thing like okay what what i'm doing wrong here okay here i see that if uh, as per the print function whatever we type inside uh, the, uh what is it is one double quotes so it has to be printed here we printed a but this but the function don't know we are calling this a function or we are calling the alphabet a okay so it's like uh, now how to solve the issue so here okay first i want to remove this so now i want to run clicking f11 so okay it says it done nothing it's exited with a return code at this one so something here see here where return is you can easily see return is zero oops where it go return is zero but it returning with something so something is gone wrong what let's uh, verify what is error printf is okay but here it's showing error so it stopped here and it deviated from the bar so it does not return zero it returns some other value so we find there is something error so it is showing here i want to enlarge this it's showing that there's an error here it's like it's giving a warning warning passing one argument of printf making the pointer without cache okay it's like we are giving only one argument it, it is expecting that uh it, it, it is saying that what i have to print okay you have defined here i don't know what the type you want to print okay here as c language we have we don't uh, here we don't give directly a here we will just before a i have to write i have to specify what is the format of it like we have to give your uh, format as percentage d like this means like percentage d means d means uh, it refers to integer d means integer and it is a form it uh, as percentage d defines the format so this whole thing this whole thing is called as format specifier if it is a float we can give f f if it is a character c okay and now it's like okay we are in we are we want integer now if i run up if i run the program like i just want to go to execute and compile and run no see it's like okay we we give it okay we got a five guys are you getting Second, uh, yeah. percentage, percentage percentage like we are declared here int is equal to a but here uh, as in c language we have while printing we have to say the uh, say the compiler say the program that what is a type what is a data type what is a data format we have to oh uh, what is it what is a data format we have to uh, print it has to print so here a is integer here we have defined but here here we have declared but here we are while defining what like while running we have to give a format it's just percentage is like a format specifier it specifies the what is the format of a it's like a is an integer so whatever we are uh, initialize the variable we say we give it to the uh, printf statement like okay we have to uh, we have to print the integer it is an integer data type so we are printing the integer data type 
and which the value is stored in A. This is the proper uh, way of way of writing. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. If I use a float if here, what happens? Just like we'll get a float generally. It's like zero. I made something go up. Okay, it's like float is not. It's like D. What is it? I have done it wrong. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, because it's between inverted commas, would it take it as a string? No, no, no. This is like a. Uh, this is forward specified because like we are giving it as a separate parameter. Oh. Okay. Okay. Here, if I click, if I click this and see what happens. Five point five five five. Okay. It is a float because it has a decimals. Okay, now. Why five? Okay, five point five. Okay, okay. Yeah, five point five. Now, now it's like okay. We tried with. Yeah, any doubt? If we gave only a uh, float uh, a is equal to five, then uh, the output will be uh, uh, five point zero, sir. Means like if I give only. Uh, only five float. Five. Okay. If I type this one, okay, let's see. Same five point zero zero. Okay, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Sorry. Char. Now I want to give a character. A. It's a character means like here only one character. Means we don't uh, uh, we don't write all the different uh, strings. String is a group of characters. Character means only one letter. Okay, now I want to just give. Suppose if I give this one percentage thing, what will happen? Just see. Okay, one minute. It's like it will be very confusing. So it's like I will give as C. C is a. This is a way of representation of double quotes. Because like for integer, we don't need to specify the double quotes. For if we are defining character, we have to specify the double quotes. Once we run it, okay, something. Make sure I said pointer. Percentage C, sir. You are right. Percentage C. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. I want to say like, uh, uh, we have declared here character, but if I try to print here, it it shows some warning. So just like use percentage C. Something is going wrong here. Okay, the single quote only. Single quote is this is the thing. Single quote only. This is the thing. If I click here, a format specified. It says like percentage C. Here in C, it is like we have to uh, case sensitive and we have to give what uh, whatever else is de uh, defined. Here you can uh, you have seen like uh, I used double quote, so it goes some error. So if I use double uh, single quote here. So we have to be uh, uh, familiar with the language. So it is uh, case sensitive, and if you if I type here uh, capital P and it does not work, wherever we have to type the print, wherever like wherever it is like case sensitive, and there is some uh, way of writing for variable. You can't just give like this. You can't give space for a variable. So it's like if I give space, it it says some error. It says undeclared. So it 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 is uh, just look at the error. It's showing. It's saying that expected only this thing. So it is not expecting uh, to space come into the middle of the variable. So it's like I just want to remove this. And if you have come across the space, suppose I want to give, I want to store uh, somebody name. Like I uh, I want to show the store first name. As is equal to okay something B. Let's keep it as B. So what will happen uh, if I click on level? It's like okay something is error. So if, for this we can just manage with this one. Okay, just if you run this, okay, one minute, one minute. Here also you have to give the first name only. Okay, now it says B. It's like whatever like e, previously we have declared A because like it it it, it will look for A. So it is showing that it's here we have declared first name and here it does not have a. 
so it only pre it searches for a so it gives an error so does it now i will uh, we have uh, i think you have got to know about variables what is uh, this is a variable uh, it is a variable and this is an uh, next thing uh, next thing is like a format specifier and a keyboard now we uh, uh, i will end the session by saying that like uh, what is canf suppose first thing i want to take an integer as an input from user i want to scan the uh, value which is given by int, uh, user so i will take int a okay int a i just i i will not give any value there i want to uh, take the value from the user so i just want to remove this so i want to scan if percentage scan if this is like scan f scan function so what this is also similar to that but here scan percentage d we have this is a format specifier what what type of format what is the data type we are taking as an input from user so it's like percentage this is a but here comes a issue like we have we don't want to uh, here this we have to be ampersand a this means like i will explain why uh, why we should not give like it just a because like uh, we are scanning uh, we are scanning the percentage d and it is stored in ampersand ampersand of a means like address of a means like we are not uh, directly uh, taking the a we are uh, first we have to assign the memory we have to give memory this is the memory address it says that it has to stick to we have to create a box so scan uh, so uh, that is that box use the address of a that whole box is like a variable we have to get a uh, we have to assign that thing to the uh, what you say uh, uh, to that address whatever we take the input from the user assign to the address of it so then once you uh, uh, you have uh, assigned to it then you have to give percentage d a it's like we have to uh, print a only i don't want to print address of a uh, just like uh, while taking while giving uh, while giving it to the uh, input or giving it to the variable we have to give the address of it where it has to store because like we don't we if we give directly thing it is not it will not make any sense we have to whatever suppose for example i want to uh, somebody want to post a letter so they will write the address they will write the address so you you can if you got a letter you can take that if you got any post if you got any uh, uh, package from amazon or flipkart it's take they take address they don't take what is the name directly so it's like they have to store it's like it has to store here we have to uh, we have to uh, point towards it memory then we can uh, we can take we can place that uh, input in the memory then once it got placed there we one it got uh, stored in the memory we can take print print that what uh, uh, integer uh, what element it has stored it is an integer then it has to print integer if it is a character print a character does it thing once run thing so it's like just i want to enter integer then so it printed so here like Uh, you can see here just it is like it is not saying anything uh, giving any message so to enter or thing so here if uh, the c program will give a as as uh, what is it uh, option like we can just type uh, enter any integer it's like as i said like anything in the in uh, double quotes will print and uh, sorry 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 okay. i have to not write here here just like anything insert enter uh any integer okay integer that's it i will give a space and i will give this one so uh, what it will do before running the scan statement the print statement will run and i uh, see what will happen it says it enter any integer so i will enter 120 okay okay sorry sorry i will give 120 then i will click on enter then it says 120 but here it's okay i'm checking like okay 120 is looking odd so i will give the statement like uh, to give a very good uh, user interface like i want to say that you have enter 
this one here whatever it will view it will read as a string here because it is inside a double quotes but this percentage d is like format specifier it does not print as a string but it will be replaced by this parameter you are given comma and given this parameter which has to be printed here just see the magic what will happen enter integer okay i will give integer 10 then print you have entered 10 this is a way the printf and scanf functions work and if i queue the float value float value so time okay time is okay yes and here is. now i want to run the program enter an integer 1.1 you have entered 1.1 okay now oh, saying i'm going to look at this thing what happened okay something got deleted here hash include that's why you're getting so many errors so many warnings here okay enter any any sorry something is now is not an integer enter any float number. okay any float number or okay any any number just we will run here Click any and okay. I want one point two. Okay, this is the thing. The float value will return. It will automatically take the precision of zeros. This is the thing. Previously, we uh, while deleting this one, I deleted this also, so I'm getting this many warnings. So now it's fine. Now if I take the final, I want to give it a character. Char a and just want to specify the format like you enter any character percentage so you have to change everything then uh, I want to explain this return also return I want to give to make sure that word perfectly it works enter any character I want to enter a C language so we are doing C language so I enter C and say you have enter C and process exited and uh, in seconds and value return to so our program worked uh, like run everything without uh, leaving anything so this is a thing return two sir yeah no problem because they are, return zero because they are print up the return two or uh, uh, is it okay if i return there is zero also sir yeah zero also if it's supposed like uh any character see return zero uh, yes, i already said that this is not Return will not affected by this. So just we are. This is a, a variable like integer. Here this is a return. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Now it's like a uh, final thing I want to say. I taken a character, but while printing, I do this. What will happen? Error. You let's see. It shows. Sure, yeah. It shows errors, but okay, whatever the character you see, it's like any character name, any character. Y. Y, okay. B. Okay, I have one minute after Y, I will show D. Okay, you have entered 89. It's like, can you anybody guess like why it's happening? Is this the ASCII value? It, it is casting the value. It is type casting the value. No. It, it is computer is. value. Why? No. It's showing the ASCII it's value of y. Yeah, y. Exactly. It is the ASCII value. It's like while I'm saying about the what you said is one. I need to go to PPT. Here, see, I, we have declared the character as integer data types. Like computer do not know what is A, what is B, what is C. So it has a separate table of ASCII. It's like uh, uh, one minute I want to sh go to. It's like where is the ASCII? One minute I go to. One minute I want to go to here. ASCII. Table. 
okay see here like ascii table here it's like each have uh now what is the output we got on it like just okay some i forgot what is output let's type d small d it's like you are you have entered 100 okay now it's like i have to go here and i have to search the 100 oh it is not see here decimal 100 it means it's a character d but don't worry about this hexadecimal after one only see this decimal part here it is d and previously we typed capital y so it's like 89 this is a way this is a way it shows it understand this number by using ascii values see here the starting from the decimal thing and it's whatever null zero means null and starting and heading it's like all the characters like uh, totally exclamated marks and everything as there in the according to ascii things whatever it uh, the computer reads the character it stores in the form of ascii only it, it, it that is why it comes under integer types characters come under integer types because whatever you type it will come under ascii only suppose i just want to go uh, write at the return and see you have entered 64 means like uh, just i want to go and verify what is 64 see here at the rate of so this is a format if i want decimal format here it's a decimal so if i want to uh, if i want to include a decimal format this will the output of ascii will come suppose if i use c character then if i run the same program then it's like same thing at the rate of it shows okay you have entered at the rate of now i think you have got a clear picture how the character is stored and how the character will be uh, understand by the system and why it is an integer data what is ca classified as an integer data type this process is known as type huh? to convert uh, to convert a character into integer this is type casting only okay like yeah. Uh, sorry, at uh, the time I said no. Okay, it's so correct only. Like just an ASCII. Just like a whatever we're typing, we converts we convert converted into ASCII thing, and it will be read in the form of ASCII only. Have you uh, have you understood like uh, any doubts? I have two question. Yeah. Like this percentage is you yes are converting the. Uh, int value to constant char and float value to it is a convert it is convert it is converting to show the the output yeah it's like uh, just uh, just um, it happens with a character uh, can we can we use uh, there, like there is in java there uh, are two or three methods to convert uh, a, a, a data type into another data type so uh, 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 besides uh, percentage can we can we have another alternative to convert one data type into another okay one minute i will show this like uh, i want to convert from uh, string to uh, what not string to float is not possible i want to uh, convert from float int to, to float. okay int to float okay uh, just i want to make it as int okay uh, we take as int only because like whatever we define is int and if uh, I don't want to change all the things so just enter any what I don't want any character sorry I don't want character any you mean number yeah number and converted uh, okay converted just a thing Converted, converted. Oh, sorry, I'm very bad in typing. Float. Mm, okay. Well, Oops, something is gone wrong here. Okay, one something is going wrong. One minute is like 
it looks fine. Four point one okay. One minute is something is like it. I think it's not possible. No, I want to. I want to ask that inside any percentage sign and a conversion is there any other okay. method to convert? Okay. Uh, uh, as of Java and whatever uh, remaining uh, programs, just like the Java and Python, uh, it is uh, here. Uh, it is not uh, such thing to direct. It's a, there is no directly uh, converting function. I think the Java I have it's like some function to int or in Python it's like int of a float no, of. Yeah, yeah. Like we have Java. to convert an integer to char. So in Java we have to enclose the uh, keyword char char into bracket and then write the value. Yeah, but then it will automatically convert. Yeah, uh, just like uh, one minute. I generally I don't know Java. Uh, for Python I just like just uh, type int of something twelve point one. It converts into uh, integer. I think similar thing uh, is similar. Uh, similar thing is, is in Java also. Yeah, but here I think is uh, in C program it's not there. Okay, I think something I messed up here. Okay, no problem. Okay, perfect. Guys, any doubts? Uh, it's like once go to the uh, uh, we will share the I, we have already shared a YouTube link, and we will also share the recorded session also. If you have any doubts, you can just go there and check once again. If you whatever topics you are facing difficulties, if you. So thank you. What you have done here, sir. Yeah. Notes which uh, notes uh, like uh, lecture notes. Uh, lecture notes we will we will give first we uh, we have to prepare the first thing we will give a PPT once you uh, PPT will be like PPT will I think PPT will be enough for just reading yeah and we uh, and we will give the programs yeah thank you okay what are the timings for the next class time for the next class is like from 5:30 to 7:30. So link links will be provided before five minutes. Yeah, uh, fifteen minutes before. Okay. Yeah, it's like uh, any doubts or uh, how is the session, guys? Sorry, it was yeah, it was very informative. Uh, it was very really informative. Awesome. Sir, we enjoyed a lot. Okay, happy to hear that. Sir, I have a just. Uh, I have a doubt that. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we are taking function as a translator, if you want to translate any sentence from one one uh, uh, one language to another language, then uh, we have to type uh, translate f yeah, or uh, we have to enter that sentence, huh? Uh, no, I think in C. Uh, as of now, I have seen. I haven't seen any that uh, that type of uh, function in the C language. Generally, I don't think those libraries are there. To convert languages. Yeah, separate. Uh, uh, there will be separate libraries, but separate functions or separate translators to convert from one language like Python to Java. But until now, I haven't tried, and I am not sure whether it's there in C or not because, like, until now, I haven't uh, used that one. But I will okay. let you know. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, it's like uh, there are uh, there are translators available uh, separately, but uh, I don't know whether it is uh, in built in C or not. Okay, okay, thank you, sir. No problem. Thank you, sir. Yeah, okay. It's like if thank everybody you, doubts are clear, and we'll conclude the session. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We can just practice what is printf, scanf, and everything because for the upcoming session, that's very important. 
um, you, you'll be you'll be getting assignment questions and everything. So for solving them, you have to have you have to have a grip on this. Is that fine? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Can I please yeah, yeah. repeat it again? See, from five thirty to seven thirty, again you have a session, right? Um, yeah. So we are diving into only programming concepts. For that, you have to have a clear grip on what is uh, what is the printf, scanf, and everything. So just practice it okay. once or twice, so you'll get a clear.